Right, so let's finally get round to finishing off this uh, Delphi tree view, the collapsible outliner, um, by adding some ability to format the notes. What do I mean by that? Well, look here, I've got my tree view outline. You can see that the notes down here, previously they were just plain text, but now I can go and select a word and I can press Control, uh, let's see, Control S to strike through. You can see this added strike through characters. Um, this is already in italic, Control I, get rid of the italic. That's already in bold, add italic uh, or underlying control U. Uh, so you can see that I can now actually go and uh, apply various formatting uh, options to my text. When I save it, those formatting options are saved and I load it again. And they've been retained from saving to loading. This has been coded in Rich Edit One's key up method. Now this is in the TV7 project, uh, which you'll find in the code archive. I've had to examine two parameters here. The first parameter key is the numerical value of the character generated by the key press. The second parameter shift is a set of constants representing the special modifier keys such as control. First, my code uses chr to convert key to its character representation, and it sets this to uppercase to ensure that lowercase b and uppercase b are treated alike, for example. The uppercase character is assigned to the variable ch. Then it tests to see if the control key constant, ss control, ss ctrl, is in the shift set. If it is, then a case statement executes and assigns a font style constant to the T font style variable FS, if one of the special keys B, U, S or I is pressed. So if control B is pressed, the FS bold constant is assigned to FS. Finally, the new style attributes are applied to the text in the rich edit box. The cell attributes property of rich edit one applies the style to any text that's selected. And if no text is selected, the style is applied from the current insertion point onwards. Now, in this code, the in operator tests whether the FS style is a member of the style set. If so, then it's removed from the set using the minus operator. Otherwise, it's added to the set. This makes the same key combination act as a toggle. By that, I mean you press control B, within some bold text and the bold attributes removed. Press Control B over non-bold text and the bold attribute will be applied. Unfortunately, I've chosen a troublesome key combination to toggle italic. When you press Control I in an edit box, by default, a tab is inserted. That's due to a long tradition on the PC of using Control I as an alternative to tab, and frankly, it's something of a pain in the neck. Uh, fortunately, there's a simple way to get rid of this unwanted character. A tab has the ASCII value of 9. If you trap that character and reset its value to 0, the tab disappears. Now, I can't do that in the key down event handler. It's too late to do it in the key up event handler, but I can do it uh, in the key press event handler, and that's what I've done here. All the sample code for the projects in this course are available for free download from the Bitwise Books website. So that's the code I, I needed to, to do this. And if you want to expand on the uh, rich text formatting in your own application, then you could go on to add other formatting capabilities, such as a font picker, for example, to change the font style, size and colour. Now, in this project, the TV7 project, which you can download, um, I've added a few other bells and whistles, for example, a file browser so that the user can browse to a file to save files by name and load different outline data files uh, using the browser. And also I've put in some error checking to deal with problems where the user might indent or outdent to an incorrect level. I'm not going to go into, into all those details here. You can just look at the code. There's lots of comments in the code to explain that. Well, for this series, that's just about it. So I've explained all that you really need to know to create a collapsible outline program using Delphi. And now it's up to you. To learn programming in depth, enroll in one of my courses or read one of my books. More information at bitwisebooks.com.